Good morning, and welcome to our daily devotional. My name is Megan Emanuel, and I am the children's ministry director here at Lord of Life. No, friends, it is not Saturday, so don't change your computer screens here. I am actually coming to you on Thursday. You're getting an extra children's message this week, so I'm super excited about that. And I'm also excited, look where I'm at, friends. I am at Lord of Life. Every now and then, I like to come here and give my children's messages because I miss you and I miss all of us being here together. And I am looking forward to the day soon that that's going to be um, happening again. So, but for today's children's message, Message, friends. We have been talking about the season of Lent, and so all the different messages and times we've been together, we've been learning and talking about different parts of the season of Lent. And so pretty soon, this coming Sunday, we're actually starting Holy Week, which starts on Palm Sunday and goes until Easter Sunday. And so one of the things I was thinking about, and we talked last week about how Jesus died on the cross um, on Good Friday for our sins. And so we did the experiment where we washed away um, our marks on our paper towel, just like when Jesus died on the cross. He did that to take away our sins and to forgive our sins. And so I have something with me today that I wanted to show you. Um, since we know that he died, we also know that Jesus was buried. And so I have something with me today. If you look, friends, I have some toilet paper. And you're probably thinking, Miss Megan, why do you have toilet paper here at church? Good question. But I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it, friends. And then you could even try this at your house with your families, too. So I'm going to take my toilet paper. I'm going to rip off a pretty good stretch of it. I'm going to put it back down. And then I want you to see what I'm going to do with this toilet paper. So I'm going to hold on to it, and I'm going to wrap my arms around and get it really so I am all totally wrapped up, and this kind of makes me think of when Jesus was buried. They wrapped his body in the cloth before they put him in the tomb. So I've wrapped my arms up, and I want you to see what I'm going to do, just like what Jesus did. And so if you watch, I want you to see what happens. If I break free, my wraps are not holding my hands anymore. My toilet paper, I've broken free from it. Just like that reminds us of how Jesus conquered death, and he broke free from death. And he, um, we know that on Easter Sunday, he rose again, and the tomb was empty. So this small bit of toilet paper can remind us just how that Jesus conquered, he overcame death, and he rose again. So friends, I know it's kind of silly, but the, now I hope that from now on, when you look at toilet paper, you will always think of Jesus and how he overcame death, and he rose again on Easter Sunday. Just like in the Bible, Matthew 28, 5 through 6 says, The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. So friends, that's the exciting and the great part of the Easter story on Easter Sunday, that we know that Jesus conquered death and rose again. So let that be your little reminder each time you see some toilet paper now, friends. <laughs> but please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Help us to remember how he died for our sins and rose again. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining me today and every day at 1130 a.m. for our daily devotionals. And we encourage you to join us um, for our services this weekend and then for our Holy Week services as well. And we thank you for your continued support that you show in so many ways and so many blessings that you um, give to us and to the community around us. And we just continue to thank you. And as my Kids Life kiddos and I say every Sunday, peace be with you.